Hey everybody, as a substitute teacher in our local school systems, I see a lot of uh, jammed or broken um, pencil sharpeners. So I'm going to show you how to fix this, alright. Um, thing is, there's so many different models, it's ridiculous. So here's uh, here's something I'm going to say before we get going. I'm going to turn it upside down, and every screw down there on the bottom, and there's one inside, there's two more screws on, the, on this side, up on top. You want to take all those out. I'm going to show you a couple more screws that hold the power supply in, but we're going to, not going to really deal with that. And also, you're going to need a couple of screwdrivers, probably Phillips head, a couple of dull pencils so you can test it afterwards, and maybe a paper clip or something straightened out. Or we'll wait until you need it. Put it. You might need that to get the lead out if the lead that's jammed in there does not come out. Okay, so here we go. Hey everybody, I'm going to show you just how to fix a um, a power. Uh, pencil sharpener. Okay, this is jammed. There's something jammed inside there, but if you push hard enough, hard enough, you can hear the motor. As long as you hear the motor running, you know it's still good, but there's definitely something jammed inside there. So I'm also going to show you about these uh, holes here and how to adjust it because I see too many students using the big holes wobbling around and it doesn't work right. So the first thing you do is unplug this from the wall. Alright, I have it unplugged from the wall. All right. So most uh, most of these um, uh, most of these devices have screws underneath them. We're going to take the ba basin out first. All right. Uh, we have uh, we have some uh, nuts inside of here, uh, and it's got things you don't need any other tools to get to that. What we need to do is get up here. This is where the problem is. And if I look deep in there, uh, we're not going to be able to see what's actually stuck in there. I see a little bit of carbon. Up, up inside there, but it's hard to get to. So we need to take this guy apart. Now a lot of people say um, uh, it's cheaper just to buy a new one. Uh, but you know, I have no problem taking things apart and working on. There's two screws, small screws up there. All right, and uh, actually, I have my headset on to, to actually look up there. But they're they're up inside there. All right, you're going to need a, a small. A screwdriver to get this to come out, but it looks, looks to me like this whole thing has to come off. We're going to take the base off. I may do things here that we don't need to do, all right. But the idea that I do this is so you don't have to and learn that way. So I'm going to take off some screws and um, and set them aside, okay. Uh, put them someplace to where you're not going to lose them because you got to put the same screws in the same spots. Yep, there it is. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, if I can get it, where'd it go? Here it is. That looks like an actual mechanical piece. I don't know if that's lead or not. That's awful thick. That's awful thick. That might actually be a lid out of a pencil. So, it's up to you if you want to go in reverse. Put it all back together. Okay, now I want to get, there we go, this thing came out. That's what I wanted, this whole thing to come off. So it was important to go ahead and take the bottom off. This guy is, here's your switch. That's a switch with power going down. Okay, uh, this is getting into electronics and all. So uh, we just unscrew those two screws right there. This is a thing that slides right off if we need to. But what I want to do is get into this thing. I want to turn this around so I can get in there. And see if there's anything else. I'm actually moving a screwdriver around. I'm spinning this. The wheel's back here, so you can spin it. As I spin that, this is moving. So I can see in there and get everything out. I'm tapping. Anything coming out. Okay. So now doing this. Now this is geared up with gears down there. That's moved by the motor. So you got to be careful. You don't do anything down here with electronics. And then uh, bang out all the dust as much as we can. Look at that table. That's a lot of dust. This is probably it right here, though. That's probably the lead that was stuck in. Okay, right in here, where the pencil goes. All right, that's where the problem is. See those two things right there? So take the switch. I'm going to use a screwdriver. 
this is the pencil, what I call a pencil switch. The pencil comes in, hits this switch right here, and it hits this level, this level here. Let me use it with the other hand. Alright, so pulls this one back and it releases a switch there, which actually turns the motor to spin it. So we're going to get these guys out. They're right there. Okay, that's a screw. Don't worry about that. And there they are. That's the two guys that were stuck in there. Pieces of pencil that just broke off. Okay, so that's... We have a clean shot all the way in there now. Alright. Where a pencil can actually go in and actually hit the inside. And you can see the pencil all the way all the way in there. Let me get the light down there. You can see the pencil. If I can get the light to show you. I think you can see it. Okay. Anyway, the idea that it goes all the way down, it hits this switch when it goes through. All right, and it should work. So let's put it, put it back together. So now I'm going to put this guy back together. Just go in reverse. This goes on first, on top. All right, turn this over, drop it right in. Okay, all your all your plastic here has to be inside. This guy right here, this this little piece right here, has to slide in there. Because that's what's, that, that's what's stopping the cord from actually being pulled out of the whole unit. So make sure that's in there. All right. We're going to tighten those two screws down. Okay, those two screws are tightened down. Now we're going to put our bottom back on. All right. Suction, uh, see the suction cups? They go on out, outside. So that slides in, make sure this guy is in place. Push it down, the plastic's in, okay, everything's in there. All right, put this guy back on. See that little spot right there? That slides over that and pushes it in. All right, before you anchor this down, make sure that this guy is actually locked in. Okay, and that's the way it should look. Right there. I'm trying to give, give you a really good look on that. All right, now we, we put our two screws, or three screws, back in. I use a bigger screwdriver for that. All right, that's good up in there. Nothing wobble around. It's good. All right, put our tray back in. All right, let's give it a try. Let me plug it back in. Let's give it a try. All right, it's it's plugged in now. And now what you want to do is rotate, rotate this guy to where you can hit a pencil in nice and snug. If you if you're over here, the way this happened is somebody had this big one here, and they went sideways. They went sideways like this, and they break that thing off inside. So come out, come around to the one that feels snug. Go in. If it doesn't work, push all push this way some. And there you go. What you have to do is hit that switch in there. All right. So it, hey, it works. And I think the teacher at uh, Esperanza is going to love it because now he has a working pencil sharpener. Hope you liked the video. It is a pain to get in there, but you have to get by that switch to get those pieces out. And every pencil sharpener is different. So look for the three screws on the bottom, be safe, and unplug it from the wall before working on it. Alright, subscribe and see a lot more helpful videos. Bye now.